Hi everybody, it's Jody here and welcome back to my channel or hello for the very first time. Today I'm going to do a review on this kit. I don't even know if it's still available. If it is, I will leave a link to it in the description bar down below. But this is the Opulence set from Zoeva. I bought this back in November, mid-November, late November, and I've been playing with it off and on for about a month now. So one of the big reasons that I decided to go ahead and get this package was not only for the packaging, but ever since I started my channel, very, very regularly, not every video, but very regularly, I get people asking my opinion on Zoeva products, and I'd never tried them before. When this kit came out, I loved the colors included in it. I liked that it came with an eyeshadow palette, a face palette, it came with brushes and a bag, so I could try a wider range of all the products, kind of, from Zoeva before I made any kind of an opinion on it. So when it showed up, it showed up like this in this gorgeous, gorgeous box with a magnetic closure. Oh, I'm gonna just kind of hold them in here. It opened up like this with the eyeshadow palette on the top and the face palette down below. Once you take off that top layer, there's a box inside that includes your makeup bag and your brushes. This box is just, just beautiful. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I, I am going to keep it for sure because it's just, it's so pretty. <laughs> just so you guys know, this palette is what I, uh, uh, these products, these brushes are what I use to do my makeup today. Now I'm going to show you guys the eyeshadow palette first. This is just... I don't know. I don't know. How can you argue with this? This is beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. When I looked at it online, I was a little taken aback when I received it because there are only two matte shades in this palette. This red one here, Get Your Glory, and this one down here, which is actually almost more of a satin than an actual matte. Golden Years, the rest of these are all different tones of shimmer. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys that this may have not been the best palette for me to try Zoeva eyeshadows for the first time, but I can tell you my overall thoughts on them. The mattes are nice. They're not quite as blendable as I would like. They're, they're creamy. This red color, though, is... it's beautiful, but once again, these, these mattes, I gotta build them up. I gotta give it a couple layers. But once you build it up on the eye, you can make it look really really nice. With a dark shadow like that though it's not entirely something that I mind. With my very very small eyes and the shape that they are, um, dark colors can be really hard for me to work with when they come on like full strength. So I didn't mind so much this one being built up because of its tone and its depth. However, I would have liked to see it a little bit more pigment for pigmented right off the bat. So it took a little more building than one should come to expect. Uh, when it comes to these shimmer shades though, oh, and I've used every single shimmer shade in here. They're really nice. They are not, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that they are the best shimmers I've ever used. They're not. Uh, but but they're beautiful and once again they can be built up. They react really, really well to Fix Plus. They are entire. They are what I used on my lid today. I used a combination of this guy here, Industrial Fortune, and this one here, Sense of Mute Movement. And I like how the look turned out. However, because of the limit of matte shades, brow bone highlights, transition shades, for any skin tone, not just mine, anyone lighter to deeper, there's nothing in that realm in there, I did have to grab another palette to work with it. That's why I'm saying that this may have not been the best palette for my first shot or first try of Zoeva eyeshadows. The big thing that I have, the big problem that I have with this palette right off the bat is, is a couple things. Is they say super pigmentation. No, it doesn't have super pigmentation. Easy to blend. Mm, mm, I'd say they're mediocre to blend. They're not the best. And then it says that it has a vitamin E in it, which is pretty nice. This palette is made in Italy, so if that's something where an item's made is important to you, important to you it is made in Italy. However, the wave of the brand, I believe, is German. I could be wrong on that. I, I am by all means willing to be corrected if someone knows uh, better than I do. The next thing here is the face palette. This does claim itself to be a blush palette. However, this is almost a a blush, a bronzery blush, and a highlight, so to call this just a blush palette. This one is just a little too, too almost warm tone. It looks too much like a bronzer on my skin, but not quite bronzery enough, so this one is very difficult to work with. 
This one up here, this red one, is beautiful, but it goes from like zero to 60. You swipe it across your cheek and then you're like, I don't see anything. And then your next swipe, you have a mass of pigmentation. The problem that I have, especially with this red one, and I have used lots of darker tone blushes like this. Some of my favorite blushes are really, really dark, really rich tone. Um, this goes on really stinking patchy. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. I can never, it's what I'm wearing today, I can never get it to go on super smooth. There will be sections of it that have like sort of a deeper pigmentation than the section besides it and around it. And I can blend and blend and blend and blend and that never blends out. It never looks super, super even. I will mix it sort of with a, I will take this and I will dab a little loose powder over top and then put it on and I can get a slightly better blend that way. Whether or not that's actually a technique you should use, I don't know, but I've been trying it. <laughs> it just it just doesn't blend out. When it comes to this highlight though, this highlight's pretty. I'll swatch it. This highlight's pretty, but it's just kind of an odd shade. I don't even know how well you guys will be able to see it. It's right across here. It's shimmery and it looks in the pan like it would be a, a, a good highlight, but it's a little too like almost gray tone. It's got not quite enough yellow. It's almost got a greeny gray sort of base to it. So it just looks funny on my skin. This whole palette just looks kind of funny on me and I don't like its blendability at all. Like it's not blendable. I found it quite patchy. But whether or not these shades or especially this highlighter or this blush would look on other skin tones, I can't attest to that. So maybe there's somebody out there that this would be amazing for. But I'm not gonna run out and buy face powders from Zoeva again because these just didn't cut them out. I got drugstore stuff that works better than this. Okay, so now in the other underneath part, we get this beautiful Zoeva bag. This is, oh, it still has plastic on the thing. Uh, this is really thick. It's really, really thick and durable. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see the inside. I'll kind of flip it inside out. That beautiful pattern that's on the outside of the packaging is on the inside of the bag. I think it's just really stinking gorgeous. It's super, super heavy duty. I, I love, I love this bag. It's a really good size, but nobody is buying this set for this bag. And then it comes with 10 brushes. We have an assortment of foundation brushes, contour brushes, um, face shaping brushes, I guess. Yeah, this one's called a face definer, and then this one's called a face shaper. I liked this one for contouring. I like this one for kind of blending things out a little bit. Uh, it's kind of an awkward little brush. I haven't quite figured this one out. This concealer brush though, oh, oh, this sucker's amazing. An assortment of eye brushes and the tiniest little fan brush that you ever did see. This little guy right here. Oh, how cute is it? Uh, I, it's too stiff to do a highlight, but it is really nice for getting tight right in underneath for that brow bone highlight. This little sucker is beautiful. When I opened it up, I was like, what am I gonna do with this? What am I gonna do with this? What's this? I will say that this foundation, this buffer brush, is the best foundation buffer brush that I have found. Holy cow, I love this thing. I don't even hardly touch the other ones anymore. I love this. It's 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 dense enough and thick enough, but the bristles are soft enough and have enough bend to them that they really blend out. Like I don't get any weird streak. You can see it's dark because I used it today. I don't get any weird like streakiness or funny patches. My foundation goes on quickly. It goes on smoothly and evenly. This is a gorgeous brush. I really like the brushes. Like I love the brushes as in I want to go get more of them. I really, really, really like them. So overall, my thoughts on the Opulent set, I think that the overall presentation on it couldn't be beat. I think the bag and the brushes that came with it are amazing, but when it comes to the eyeshadows and it comes to the face palette, I really honestly wish that I had just bought the brush set and not bothered with the rest. Will I be recommending these to anybody? N no, I can't. They're not good enough for that unless something about them jumps out and smacks you in the face and says, mama, take me home. <laughs> I would say, move on, find something else. These are, these are not the best quality, especially this face one. I just can't recommend it at all. I think this one would be right for the right person. I'm just not the right person. I'm the wrong person. I'm the wrong person for this. And it's not that I hate it. It's just that it doesn't quite live up to what I'm starting to come to expect from shimmers or glitter shades, and, and these mattes are just 
almost unusable. There's like one legitimate matte and one kind of almost matte. It's just not enough for a cohesive lurk. This is definitely a supplemental palette and I, I have enough of those laying around. I don't need another one that the quality is not there. All right guys, well that is it for my overall review of the Zoeva Opulence set. Uh, it's beautiful to look at, but other than that, I would say stick to the brush. <laughs> If you guys use Zoeva products, if you guys have any favorites or ones that you would recommend that I check out that may be better or superior to the ones that I've tried here, please let me know in the comments down below. I need your guys' help with this because it is a newer brand to me. I don't really hear about them a lot, so it's it's something I need a little bit of guidance to tell me which way to go um, and what I should be trying from them. I definitely want to try more of their brushes for sure. I have a few on my wish list <laughs> right now. Uh, if you guys have used this, own it, love it, have an opinion the same or different than mine, please let us all know in the comment section down below. This channel isn't just about my opinion, it's about sharing all of our opinions on makeup. So please, you know, share your opinion, let us all know. The more we can hear from other people and other points of view, the more informed consumers we can all become and that's kind of the goal with all of this. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, dilemmas, let me know down below. Other than that guys, you all know the Drillio. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And as always guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you all next time.